The YWCA is planning to expand into the old Kmart building on University that they bought last year. Today, they invited the community out to discuss renovation plans and air many of the concerns they might have. Our Emily Harrison was at the meeting today. Emily, they say this project is going to cost at least $10 million. Well, it might cost a little more than that as they plan to go through multiple phases for the building. Dozens of community members were there discussing concerns from pedestrian safety all the way to raising property taxes. The YWCA try to be as transparent as possible, giving community members new details on their plans for the old Kmart building. The community is always very interested in what's going to happen in terms of their personal uh, impact, such as is it going to raise taxes, uh, is it going to have certain programs, um, and so we really, that's the whole purpose of this is to get those questions out on the table and address them as efficiently as we possibly can. Officials say the new building is going to have several different amenities like a playground and classrooms, but no swimming pool. One thing I was wanting to know is would, would there be an indoor pool since they're losing the indoor pool at the other facility and that is in the works. It may be a while, as one lady said, probably not in my lifetime. YWCA leaders say they're losing the swimming pool because they plan to consolidate their locations, but which locations will close is still up in the air. We have we have several locations here in um, Lubbock, but our intent is to consolidate our locations to uh, include Sun and Fun in this new building. Anything related to the YWCA is going to be a special use building, and so we may we may end up having special use buildings all over the city. Who knows? They're hoping this meeting with community members will help clear up some of the details and get them excited for their next big step. We will not move any program until we have a new space for it. But the new space is really designed to be much more modern, have much more of uh, the more current amenities, and so we're looking forward to the impact it can make on our children that we're serving. YWCA leaders say this project is funded entirely through grants and fundraising. If you want to get involved, we'll have more information on our website on how to donate.